Hello. So, we are continuing Yakuza 4, as always. I feel like we're pretty much past the halfway point now because there's four playable characters and we're on the third playable character now. And we're kind of back to square one, really, because we don't have a lot of HP, we don't have any experience points, we don't have any abilities unlocked, and we don't have any defense or offense or even any health items, so kinda got a lot to do today. And plus I don't even know what our fighting style is like with that this new character. It, it could be great or it could be terrible, <laughs> so I'm sure to find out soon enough. But we're off to a good start anyway, because we found a lock of key, so if that has any defense or offense items, we should be alright. But I think before we continue the main story, I need to go and get health items. Because we do not have a lot of health. Man, I feel like when we started Sajima's chapter, we had more health than this, so that's a little bit worrying. Let me see what health items do we have. We've got an umbrella for 3,500. I guess I could buy that. 
Those are the only two health items that they have. And it only increases the heat meter, it doesn't increase health. I'll buy five? Oh, no, 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 I'll buy six of those. Just, just to even it out. I'm definitely going to need some health items. Definitely. Also, let me be right. All right, there we go. Just had to quickly just change something over in OBS for like one second. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're, we're all good. Um, okay. I want to see. Do I want to just head to my main story location or do I want to like explore Kamurucho? Maybe get some experience points. I'm not too sure. I think I could go to the Millennium Tower because we did get a locker key. See if that has anything for us. So I do want to get some practice in with our new character and, and their combat style before we really attempt any of the main story locations. So far we're not finding any enemy encounters so it's not too good for us. I would, I would like a lot of enemy encounters right now just to get that experience point. Let's see, did I get anything good from the locker? Got the Eye of the Dragon, I have no idea what that item is. Crimson Stone that draws you in with its beauty seems ancient and mysterious. But we don't have any use for it. So I... let's just send that to the item box then. We don't have any use for it. Knowing we don't have to escape any of the police officers like the the last two chapters this is where I think like a rookie cop. That's kind of the vibe that I've gotten anyway from this character because I don't know anything about them really. They just sell the same health items. I guess the only decent health items I could buy are just some of the food items. I don't think we're going to get any enemy encounters, so yeah, I might as well just head to our main story location. I think that's the only thing I can really do at the moment. So I need to look on the map to see where it is, because I think we've walked past it. Okay, there it is. So if I go down this street and then turn, we should be in the right area. Seeing as we're passing this door, I do want to see if we can buy any defense items. Though I don't think we've got enough money for any really good items. Well, that's 48,000 and that's 78,000, so yeah, we definitely don't have enough. And we can't really buy anything, really. It's kind of a shame. Although we could buy the metal bar. Yeah, I'll buy it. We've got enough money for it.
That's the name of this character, Tanimura. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I couldn't remember what the name of this character was. Rages. That seems to be the last streamed Yakuza. I think if I recall correctly, we're trying to find someone who snitched on us. But I can't remember what they snitched on us for? I don't remember that part. I just remember the cutscene that we got with Tanimura explained that somebody snitched on us. But I can't remember why. <laughs> that, that part is blank in my mind. And I think also Tanimura's got the nickname of the Kamurucho Parasite, which is kind of a weird nickname for Tanimura. Because it like implies he's kind of a, a bad guy? With a name like that, anyway. They know something that they don't want to tell us. Actually, have to play mahjong. I, f I think that's what we might need to do right now. Because we need to obtain two silver plates. And get them by exchanging sticks so you can either win a few games or buy the sticks yourselves. If you just can't manage a win, feel free to buy sticks and exchange them as is. So, okay, it's given us options to work with here. Got two different ways to get those plates. Shop next door sells fake silver plates. So we've got three options then. I guess we could try playing a match of Mahjong, because I think I've only played it once for all the Yakuza games, so I'm not the most experienced at it. It's 50,000 yen to sign up though. We don't have 50,000 yen. We've only got 24, so yeah, we've got less than half. Advanced. I kind of just want to do a beginner's game to be honest, if it'll let us do that. I don't know if there is a beginner's table. I don't see one in sight, so we might have to... 
do the events table for this. 25,000 stakes, oh, it's a no-go. It's one yen per stick. So can we buy, like, 10,000? I want to see how much it is for silver plate, and then, uh, okay, it's 13,000, so we need to buy two of those. I think we can only get one of the silver plates. I don't think I've got enough yen to buy both. So I've got one of the silver plates. I wonder if I can get into any encounters now. Because I feel like we can easily make enough money to get both plates if we've got enemy encounters enabled. We could also maybe sell the, the dragon eye item that we found earlier on. I don't think I'm going to have any use for that on my first playthrough. I think I'll do it that way, yeah. We'll sell the, the dragon item and then hopefully have enough money to buy both silver plates. We'll get 100,000, so yeah, we'll have enough money for it. I think the, the eye of the dragon item is just too... I'm trying to remember the name of it. One of the, yeah, crafting materials. That, that's the one I was looking for, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's just a crafting material. So it's 13,000. So yeah, I only need to basically spend like 6,000 yen. a bit of work to figure it figure it all out but we got there in the end and hopefully that should do it there we go we could have probably just made it easy by buying the fake civil plate but i don't know if that would have uh changed the decision of of progressing through the story So I think I made the right choice by just buying the silver plates, the, the genuine silver plates. tell that we need also so yeah everyone's happy really so we need to go to the parking lot don't recall where that is on the map so hopefully it'll show us through the objective marker It's 
so yeah, I think we've done everything here. Yeah. It's a good thing we do have an objective marker. And it is also pretty far away. But that's not a bad thing, because I, I do want to get into trouble and find enemy encounters. Because so far we've not had any luck so far. I know we've only just started this chapter, but uh, I, I need those experience points as, as quick as we can, really. I feel like normally you'll encounter enemies like all the time in previous chapters, but no, yeah, we're just not having any luck. Due to his upbringing and occupation, uh, Tanimura is well versed in Asian languages. Tanimura is also a resident of Little Asia. He considers the staff of Homeland to be his second family and can use the restaurant as a hideout. I think the, the little Asia entrance was nearby also. Yeah, well that's the location for it. We can't go there at the moment. I mean, under a minute, you get 50,000 yen. We've done this challenge before. I think it's time we actually get to see Tanimura's fighting style for the first time. I don't know what to expect from it because I haven't seen any gameplay from Tanimura, so... I'm hoping it's uh, as good as it was with the previous two characters that we played as. Okay, we, well, we get a tutorial, so that's a good start. That's a new, so that's a new feature. That's the parry attacks. attacks feel pretty standard so far. Like, not bad, but not amazing either, so... I guess it's, it's not as tanky as uh, Sajima was, so... It's also a good thing. But we'll definitely need to learn some more, like, abilities with Tanimura as soon as possible. There's this one scary looking guy in a grey suit who challenges me to a fight over here. That kind of sounds like Kuru. Because that's the only character that comes to mind who kind of wears a grey suit.
So we didn't level up, so that's good. Uh, give us three soul orbs. So that's also really, really good. I need to see what items or what abilities I want to unlock, really. I can grab an enemy and then lock the arm. Can be used multiple times. Which does sound good, but I don't know how effective that will be, like, long term. Increases the ability to evade attacks by quick stepping. Increases the power of all techniques executed while grabbing your enemy. That could, have, that could be pretty useful. Stand up fast after being knocked down. I mean, that universally is like really, really helpful for pretty much every character that we've played as so far. Okay, what do we need to do next? Oh, we just gotta go around Kamarucho. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Now we're going to go to Theatre Square. And it just teleported us over to Theatre Square. I, I did think we were just going to be able to walk over there, but no. Nah. That's the arm grab ability, okay. So yeah, if I get if I level up again I might buy the other arm grab ability that we saw earlier on. Okay, it said you could do that like multiple times. Also need to talk about like, finishing moves, because it feels weird not being able to like get rid of enemies on the ground. I don't think we've ever met this character before. I do like his little red feather he's got in his hat. It's kind of cute. Group gives it all to maintain the peace here in Kamarucho. But with a pleasure district this big, even our combined efforts can't cover all the problems that arise. So they're just like normal everyday citizens who bonded together in a group to protect Kamarucho. I mean, that's kind of cool considering how hellish Kamarucho has been in the past games, so it's kind of cool, you've just got normal individual citizens trying to look out for people. I 
I'm just gonna help out every once in a while? I mean, that doesn't seem like too much trouble. Plus, if it grants us experience points and grants us new abilities, that's absolutely fine. We'll use our funds to reward you depending on how many incidents you are able to resolve. This isn't easy for me to say, but we've heard rumours you were financially in need pretty often. We did also just spend like nearly all of our yen at the start of this chapter, so yeah, I think I also will need more money at some stage. I need a lot of things for Tanamura at the moment, like we need health items, we need experience points. And we need yen. Um, probably need like more weapons and defensive items also. Come by and help whenever you have the time, we won't force you to do anything you don't want to. Kinda of sounds like a side quest more than a main quest. Like one of those long side quests that goes on for like multiple chapters. to head to Homeland. I'm not sure where that is. It's also probably a good time for me to update our save file. Seems we did just start this chapter. Okay, a story location isn't that far away really. I'm also hoping like we'll finish Yakuza 4 by either the end of this week or the very very beginning of next week because I don't think we've got that much left to do really. With how well paced the chapters have been in the last two main story chapters that we've done, I don't see this game taking us longer than two weeks to finish, I just don't. I mean we're on the third playable character now out of four so... I'm pretty sure we can possibly finish it this week. Which will then give me more time to play more Monster Hunter, because I haven't touched that game in like a, a week and a half, I want to say. I do want to get back into it. I'm also liking this cutscene so far, it's just one gradual shot that just follows you. That's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before in a Yakuza game. Of like, many games, actually. いつも悪いね。今月 
就労ビザ持ってない外国人が日本で働くのはもちろんだけどそうと知ってて雇うのも不法就労助長っつう犯罪なの知ってた捕まれば3年以下の懲役もしくは300万円以下の罰金店の女性に逃げ込めないことを知ってていろいろとちょっかい出してるみたいじゃないあんた強姦罪も追加されたい So Tanamura isn't as squeaky clean as I thought he was going to be. It's kind of got more of a dark side to him. Tokoro de Kono Nami Kagatara. Or any Lenna Kure. Dareska, Kore. Oshi and I. Gays at no Kimitsuko da. Tony Kagamitara Suguni Lenna Kure. Ja, Mada. I think he's also like one of the main characters, or one of the first main characters in the Yakuza game who speaks more than one language. I don't recall any other characters speaking two different languages. しま。あ、明白了。我来照顾孩子。あ、別担心。また一人増えるのか。あ、父親が韓国に送還されたらしい。どうして？先日その父親が骨事故を起こしてな。そのまま警察に引っ張られてオーバーステイがバレたらしいそりゃついてないな子供はまだ5歳うちで面倒見るしかないだろうなその子供の養育費にでも回してくれやむろかそれともまた巻き上げてきたのか<笑>どっちもかなまったくお前さんってやつらまあありがたいのは山々だけどなあまり無理すんなよ Whenever a character says don't do something stupid you know the character's gonna do so much stupid in like 10 minutes And Tanma like he comes across pretty reckless so I feel like he's gonna get himself into a some pretty dangerous water pretty quickly. <laughs> I mean, I know it's still early, but with Tanamura, I, I don't know. I'm not really into his character just yet. Maybe that'll change as we play more chapters involving him. But yeah, he's not making the, the best impression. I still think um, Akiyama made... The best first impression so far in Yakuza 4. Like, he's still my favorite character that we've gotten to play as in the game. And then, of course, Sajima is number two. Tanamura's dad got murdered as he was investigating one of the clans. One of the clans that's which is connected with the Tojo clan. I think, I can't remember what the clan's name are, but I think they're in battle with the Tojo clan. The Uninno Siwa clan? That's probably not how you say it, uh, pronounce it, but. I try my best. 
Uh, the coin's been quiet for 25 years. Yeah, I think the, the con that Tanamari was talking about is the con that Sajima was part of, I think. Maybe I'm wrong on that, I'm, I'm trying to recall if that was the con or not that Sajima was part of. Yasuko Sajima knows why your father was killed. Are they talking about like Sajima Sajima? Like the, the guy we just played as? Or are they talking about somebody else? I think they are talking about Sajima. Unless there's two characters called Sajima, but I feel like that would be a little bit weird in the same game. Pretty good timing. We were just talking about the girl that Tanima was looking to find, and then all of a sudden, someone resembling her appearance just randomly shows up. I agree with Zell, the timing is it's too perfect to call it a coincidence. access to a hideout, uh, here you can save your game, move items down the box, and insist on past events and view play stats. And health will recover while hideouts. I think we're only missing like a tiny bit of health anyway, but I feel like we might be coming back to the hideout quite often because we don't have a lot of health, especially in this starting chapter. I think we need any more help items. We could probably buy sake though. It's only 600 yen. Okay, how do I get out of here actually? Quest to do also. Might put a bit of work into any available side quests we've got for this chapter, just to get that extra experience point. So I think for each chapter we've been doing a few side quests, but we haven't done all of them that have been offered to us.
I mean, so far this side quest seems pretty simple. We've just got to find the guy who stole 2 million yen. And then just return it. We actually have to gamble for 2 million yen. So that's going to make things a bit more complicated because I don't know how difficult that will be to obtain 2 million just from doing the gambling minigames. There's an the underground casino in Kamarucho. People call it the Dragon Palace. We've, we've been to that area before. I think I remember which building it is, because I remember we had to do a, a, it was either part of the main story or there was a side quest there involving Sajima's story. I think it was like the second to last chapter actually, where we had to go to the Dragon Palace. Another place we need to go to. Because they said the name of the, the street that we had to go to. Uh, I think it was. Yeah, it's that one. So it's on the East Boulevard. So let me try and see where that is. Okay, so it's around this street somewhere. So we're pretty close to it, actually. Oh, finally, enemy encounter. Good. It's also weird because like, I'm so used to being able to grab enemies on the floor, but we can't do that because we haven't unlocked the ability for it yet. Police report said there was some commotion somewhere on the street. So far, I don't see anything we can interact with. Not in this side, anyway. there's anything happening on this side either, so yeah, I... Hmm, I don't know. 
Unless we talk to that guy again and, and interact with him, see if that uh, gets us to the right place. I don't I don't think we're in the right place no. <laughs> no commotion here guess I just gotta wait it out also remember this location because I think um there was a side quest for it in Kawami 2 which was kind of grisly because I remember how that side quest ended I think it was a side quest anyway Now I just need to wait for this to end, basically. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. I don't think there's anything we can interact with either, no. Like, no, no collectibles, no objects of interaction, nothing. <laughs> just, just gotta wait this out. Yep, I definitely want to leave because I don't think there's anything we can do over here. Found a collectible item after that, so I guess that was kind of worth our time, really. Alright, let's get out of here because I don't think there's anything else we can do in this area. They also did say we need to go to the park boulevard area, which is. I don't remember where it is. I think it's one of these streets somewhere. There it is. Okay, so that's a park boulevard. That's where we're on the side quest are. So, yeah, if I keep going forward, should get there in no time. Also, how far am I from leveling up? Uh, oh boy, quite a lot actually. We need another 4,100 XP. I don't recall it was one, I remember it being one of these buildings where the casino was. It's actually on that, the map. So it might be. So 
So it's not on the list of locations. I specifically remember it being like somewhere in this area. Just trying to recall like which building it was to be honest. This is it. We need to do a favour on top of another favour for this side quest. Some customers run off without paying the tabs. I'm sure a young fellow like you could catch them. We need to find three people. So we're gonna go to the underground parking lot. I think we can get there through the Millennium Tower. I think it's pretty much right below it, I think. Champion District, which is pretty nearby to where we are. And then she's around the Millennium Tower. So all three of them are pretty close to each other, pretty much. So on that note, I'll be right back.
Alrighty, so let me put some progression into this side quest because we've got three locations to go to. And that will probably take like a good chunk of time to actually finish this entire side quest. Also, where? I need to find where I am actually. Uh, okay, speaking of side quests, we've got another side quest over here to work on. And another enemy encounter. I think I'm gonna need to like hit this enemy like two more times and then that enemy counters them. I'll take care of this guy also. Alright, and let's get rid of you. There we go. I do like the arm grab ability, it's a little bit overpowered actually because it looks like you don't do any damage to them with the animation, but it actually like depletes the health bar pretty quickly. Also, we've got another health item. Finally! Okay, a health item that actually restores our health this time. I'm definitely gonna keep hold of that. So that reminds me also, the last boss fight we did in the main story was uh, a little bit difficult. Bath facility on Park Boulevard. I have no idea what the bath facility is. I know we just came from the Park Boulevard area, so yeah, let me head back up there. See if there's anything waiting for us over there. But yeah, I think I'm gonna definitely need all the health items if the last boss is anything like any of the upcoming boss fights we've got. I do also want to see if there's any collectibles that I might have missed in this area. Because so far I don't see anything. Anything of value anyway. I don't think that's any value to us, so I'll get rid of that when we can. So there's like a bathing facility or a bath facility. In Park Boulevard. That's what the message said anyway, but I don't see anything fit in that description. I mean, what's the meaning of this place? I don't think I've ever been in this building before. There's table tennis? I mean, we can check that out. It's only 1,000 yen for the entry fee. And that also restores our health. I'm trying to think, like, was the hot springs always in every Yakuza game, or did it just appear in this one? Because I recognise the building being there before, but I've just never thought you could, like, enter it. Also, I've never done the table tennis mini game before, so don't know how this is going to go. I also have a heat gauge that I just only just noticed. And I'm making a terrible first, like, attempt at this. This is on the easiest difficulty, also, I'm getting my ass kicked right now. Did 
Team Man also looks like this is the first time I've ever done the, this mini game ever in Yakuza, so. It's the first of many things today. So that, I hit that way too hard. Even though I'm getting my ass kicked, this is actually pretty fun. Who knows, maybe with enough practice I'll actually like, get okay at this. I just need to like control how hard I'm actually hitting it because I'm like hitting it off the table. Which I think you're not supposed to. I don't think also there's no way of me even winning this. No way. I had fun with it anyway, so. We got a bad part for our triples, so even though we lost. <laughs> I don't think we get any experience of uh, like trying out the mini games. I think we actually like have to either complete the mini games and successfully complete them, or find all the mini games to unlock like any experience points. Either way, like that was a good time. I think if I ever go back and replay Yakuza 4, I'll definitely like put more time into the the table tennis. Remember these two characters? Yeah, yeah, we met these guys on a previous side quest. I think in uh, Sajima's storyline. I can remember, I don't think we helped these guys out on the first time we encountered them. So I don't know if this is just like a, a retry, we get to like do this side quest again, or if it's a completely different scenario, I'm not too sure.
You didn't get any experience points from that either. I think I just want to focus on the side quests that we're currently doing when we need to find the three people. And then focus on the main star. So that, this is the wrong area. I need to go to the parking lot. I think I think we can fast travel there. Also, I know we've got like plenty of lockers to open up because we found a few keys earlier on. Also, yeah, let me go for my own box and, and rearrange that because I think we've got items that I don't have any use for at the moment. That's a crafting item. That's hopefully a defensive item. So we can equip that. Defense 10, guns 12. Oh no, guns 5, blades 12. It's a pretty good defensive item. We didn't even have to pay for it. I think the other items I can just send to the item box. I remember them saying that one of the characters for this side quest is around this area. Okay, there, that's that's the person in question. Take it we have to beat all our bodyguards up there before we can like make any progression on this. Yep, we're gonna have to fight all our bodyguards. I think there's, what, five of them? Easily five or six of them. As long as I don't get grabbed by any of them, it should be alright. Okay, that's not what I want to happen. Yeah, I really don't want to take too much damage from these guys. Pretty effective. I'm also kind of warming up to Tanamura's fighting style a bit more now. Because at first I wasn't too sure, but it's actually like not as weak as it looks, surprisingly. One down, two to go. And the other person we need to find is in the champion district. So we can probably fast travel. Yeah, I think for the next two, I'm probably just going to fast travel for both of them.
can't wait to wait like oh, what the ability to do heat actions. <laughs> That's gonna become a big help. It just feels weird not being able to like use them right now. Because we don't have the ability. Okay, let me fast travel to the other two locations. And we can finish up the side quest, continue on the main quest, and probably get this chapter done pretty soon. Remember they're saying that the, the second person is in the parking lot. And the other person's in the champion district. So yeah, I think we can fast travel to both of those. Oh, so, Mel, hi, hi. Uh, hey, Chibi, just packed my room so I can't stay, but just thought you'd say hi. Uh, have an awesome stream. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Hope that you've been having a nice day so far. I think it's, what, 5 p.m. for you? If I've got the time difference correct. No, thank you for showing, to, showing up to the stream. I, I always appreciate it, it really means a lot. Yeah, I hope you're having a good day. I think this is the guy we're looking for also. Yep, that's the guy. I'll see you messaging me back on Discord. Okay, thank you. I'll take a look at that the second I get a chance. It's 3 p.m. at the moment for you. Okay. Yeah, still still trying to get used to the time difference. <laughs> still terrible at it. So I don't know if we have to chase this guy down or if we actually just have to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. I'm hoping we get get to just fight him one-on-one. -on -one. Or not. Yeah, he has to run away. Yep. Hopefully I can at least like throw something at him just to make this easy. Okay, we can throw stuff at him. Good. I think if I do that like three or four times, I'll try to do it three or four times if I don't miss. Okay, well that, that didn't work. <laughs> we only managed to get him once. I was not expecting that quick tower, man. I think we should be able to do this. There we go. Okay, thankfully that wasn't as bad as I imagined it was going to be. Because some of those cheese sequences are either really easy or really, really difficult. Also, I completely forgot to uh, mention, um, we have new, new sub badges now. I man finally managed to get around to sorting out the sub badge situation, which took like months of me picking out a design. So, yeah, I I wish there was a way I could like display the sub badges, but um, I think the first one starts at three months and it goes up to like a year and a half, I think is the last badge. But there's, I think, like six of them altogether. So, yeah. So, the channel's got new sub badges, which is great. Which I originally was going to get that done back in like October, November, and then kind of forgot about it, unfortunately. person we need is in the champion district. Actually, I was thinking of fast traveling over there, but I, I think it might be easier to not fast travel and just to get into more enemy encounters so we can gain more experience. Because we've only leveled up what, once. Yeah, pretty much.
I'm also going the right way. Yeah, yeah, I'm going the right way. I need to go down this street, I think, and then go down this street. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're in the right place. Now I just need to find the right person in this, like, small area. I think that's our guy, actually. Yep, that's him. I think this was the guy they mentioned was a surgeon. I think that was him. As long as we just have to face him, we're fine. Although he does have quite a lot of health, actually. I can't pick that up. I was gonna pick up the billboard and just use that. I don't think there's any. Is okay. We can use the bikes instead, actually. It's so like let me just pick up every item I can see and just throw them at this guy. <laughs> Is the money, so we don't actually have to do any of the gambling stuff then to get the, the money back. So that means we basically just finished up the side quest. I want. I think the only thing we need to do now is deliver the money to the right person. It's actually like a relief because I didn't think we needed to earn 2 million yen from doing the gambling mini games, but instead we just get the money. And we don't even have to travel over there either. We got 5,000 experience points. So yeah, we definitely leveled up then. So, I want to see what item he gave us. I know he gave us an item, I just didn't get to see what it was. Uh, it's not an inventory. Also, I'm trying to remember what abilities I need to unlock. Okay, that was one of them. Definitely one of them. I think it was also the unlock that I wanted to unlock. I should also probably update my save file before we go to this main story location. That would be a good idea. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, let me definitely save. Because I don't know when I'll not get the chance to update my save file, so I'm just going to save it every chance we get, really. I have no idea what this guy's like hiding from us now. So he's basically just bribing us this time around, which is surprising. I wouldn't be surprised also if this is like the last cutscene for this chapter. Because uh, pretty much like all the chapters in Yakuza 4 have been fairly short. Apart from like the last two. That does look like the girl Tanamara uh, was looking for. Yeah, pretty sure that is the same person. Unless, like, she's got a twin sister, but, yeah, I think this is the same person. Okay, it has to be the same person now, especially if the Yakuza are involved. I'm glad we upgraded some new abilities for this. There's quite a few enemies here. Let me actually get rid of this guy first. I'm leveled up again. Also, like, that enemy council wasn't as difficult as I did think it was going to be. Considering it is the main story, and we've only leveled up twice with this character.
Tokyo Bay docks. Well, it's probably the first time we're going to that area, too. Because I don't think we've been to the, the dock location in the Yakuza game in a long time. Also got another side quest to do. I mean, I can check out what this side quest entails, but I don't know if I'll be doing all of it or not. Also got the jazz music <laughs> made a return again. I think it's like made the appearance in every chapter we've done. I'm not sure about this guy's haircut, it's uh, a little bit weird. I also don't know what we're getting ourselves involved in with this side quest, I have no idea. my curiosity with this side quest so yeah I think we'll uh, go ahead and do it. This doesn't sound too difficult. Get together. Uh, yeah, like so far, this seems pretty normal. But considering it's a yak as a game, it's probably gonna get really weird really quickly. And we've gotta basically impersonate someone and <laughs> take someone else's name. situation. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so far it still seems to be normal. Because this isn't the first time we've helped someone out in a situation like this. Just waiting for this side quest just to get really awkward for some reason or another. 
Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a difficult side quest, or like a, a time-consuming side quest to do. Probably not. Because the last one we did, like, did take a little bit to do. Actually, do yeah. I'm gonna go for the first option. Actually, no, 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 because that's gonna sabotage it. As as much as I want to go for the first option, I guess we just like gotta play our role in this side quest and, and kind of play it cool. I think that was his name also. Hopefully, I got the name right. Okay, yeah, yeah, we did. So she works at a restaurant at the Millennium Tower. I think that's not a good place to work, <laughs> considering all the events that have happened there. She works as a nurse. She works at a bookstore. I mean, they're all pretty reliable jobs. I do recall also before we started the side quest, they mentioned certain food. She likes and dislikes. This is also like one of the more grounded side quests that we've done in Yakuza 4. Like it doesn't seem too out there so far. So yeah, I kind of like this change of pace right now. Like a kind of grounded, down to earth side quest is kind of, I don't know, something that I've not seen in the Yakuza game in quite a while.
I think also once we've done the side quest and once we go to the, the dock location for the, the main story, that possibly will be the end of the chapter. Because I'd be surprised if like this is a really long chapter. I think also depending on how long it takes, we might only get one chapter done today. Because um, I think today's going to be like a lot more of a shorter stream than the, the previous Yakuza stream. Because we've been doing like four hours, four and a half hours Yakuza streams for the last two streams anyway. So yeah, kind of want to keep it a little bit short today. Also, I don't know if I screwed up and picked the wrong conversation option because this conversation is going a bit downhill right now. I also feel like, like these two guys are just bickering at each other pretty much. <laughs> Not helping the situation for anyone. Uh? I think I just want to watch what happens actually because this guy kind of dug his own grave with that comment. I think that was the wrong conversation option that I chose. I think I'm not sure which like is the right option or the wrong option for this side quest. that side quest up because we didn't get any experience points from it. Nah, that's fine. You no, know, it's rude to do that in another playthrough at some stage. I think I... Mm, I'm trying to think which to upgrade out of these. Increase the ability to evade attacks by quick stepping. I think that might be a good thing to upgrade. And I'm gonna see what else I can upgrade. Counter attack executed while down. Yeah, we'll, we'll unlock that ability. Okay, I think that's everything then. I think we've got plenty of, of enough health items for this. It looks like they are setting up some sort of boss fight for this. 
Because normally when you get a choice to either like go to a new area or not go to a new area, there's normally a boss fight. But yeah, I think we've got enough health items. Three health items, that's even better. Alright, I want to avoid being hit like that because man, even though we did a level up, we don't have a lot of those. down the, the big guy first. So I think he's gonna give him the most trouble. So the second I get a chance to definitely upgrade in more abilities. Seeing as we did a level up again. Uh, let's see. What do I want to level up? Heal up also. Would that be a good thing to do? I was so glad I didn't screw up that quick time event. So I noticed like the some of the quick time events like later on in the game they don't give you any time to fail, like whatsoever. Him, so yeah, two more left. So far, this is you know it's going alright. It could go a bit better because we are like taking quite a bit of damage every now and then. So let me see if there's anything anything over here. Uh, no. I was going to see if there's like any free health items. I don't think there's anything over... Oh no, well we came from that direction, so... Just gotta keep heading this way then.
I'm also surprised that's a defensive item. I mean, it's not a great defensive item, but it's, I mean, it's better than nothing, so... trying to get better at like the, the parry system. We're going to do some of the tutorial but I haven't like managed to make much use of it yet. Okay, kind of that way. Set that on fire, aren't we? Well, oh, oh no, okay. What it does, it makes you fall over. I was unsure if it like just slows you down, but no, you actually just completely fall over because of it. Okay, I need to heal up really quickly. Oh, I didn't know it's also you take damage right each time you fall over. Okay, just gotta like slowly walk through this area. Oh, now they're gonna set it alight. to get rid of the guy with the gun who's shooting at us because that is going to wipe through my health if I don't do anything about it. Okay, we're taking rid of the guy with the gun first.
That was pretty bad. I'm gonna level up twice for that. Okay. Uh, well, I'm trying to see what I want to like put uh, upgrades into now. I guess I could wait until we get another two soul orbs and then level up and upgrade our essence of combos. Additional finish to finishing balls, mastery may unlock a fall up technique. I mean, if we can do faster combos, that sounds pretty good to me. I think it's a good thing I did those side quests when we had the chance, because I think if I didn't do any of those, we would have lost a lot of opportunities to pretty much just level up, really, which would have made that entire enemy situation a whole lot more difficult. Yeah. Oh, it's this guy. I vaguely remember him from... Akiyama's part of the story. I'm not sure what his deal is though with the, the main story. さか、こんな女が今世間を騒がせている連続殺人事件の犯人だったとはな。どうして柴田組の関係者ばかりを狙ったんだ。仕方なかったんです。一億なんて用意できると思わなかったからな。うん。何おかしなこと言ってるんだ
そうです私と桂木さんそれにあと数名の協力者にとってねお前桂木の方に寝返ったのか柴田さん勘違いしないでください私は花から柴田組と組んでいるつもりはない最後に教えといてあげます。See, I have no idea who, who side he's on now. If he's a, like a good character or a bad character, I, I have no idea. When he seemed pretty friendly in Akiyama's part of the story, but now I'm not too sure. Anta was given no shoes, say no time, Katsuragi san in Teokasta. Demo Sorei, Anta was jiken no shin so netani, Katsuragi san in Nikairi or Motome Sigita. カズラギさんにとって今のあんたは邪魔者でしかない<笑>それじゃ警察だ銃を捨てろ25年前上野義晴の襲撃事件を仕組んだのはあんたなのかあの事件にはどんな裏があるんだおいおい柴田しっかりしろThat's the end of that chapter. Yeah, there we go. Chicago, the police are in the area. The police are in the area. この店は俺がアジトのように使ってる店だ。警察とは繋がってない。It is the same character that we learned. Akiyama lent the money to. She just, for some reason, like, because the hairstyle was different, it looked like a completely different person for a second. I don't know what to do. So I take it she's going to be like the, the main character who the whole storyline is. Revolved around really. Because it seems that way. Oh, so he's going to be like the main character. さっき柴田が話していたこと聞いてたんでしょうああ聞いてたじゃあどうして簡単だ俺は生活安全課の刑事だからだ殺しは専門じゃないでもそれにたとえあんたが殺人をやっていたとしても俺にはあんたを捕まえることができないんだ殺人の証拠がないからなだから証拠が揃うまではこうして身柄を拘束するしかないま、任意同行に付き合ってるくらいに思っといてくれどうして私の身柄をあなたの目的は何なの俺はずっとあんたを探していた10年前からずっとな今から25年前1985年4月30日あんたは俺の親父と会う予定になっていたこの日の夜親父は荒川から水死体となって発見されたえ島康子さん刑事としてじゃない
父親を殺された一人の男としてあんたに聞きたいあの日あんたと親父は何を話したんだ教えてくれI'm trying to think if like Sajima had any part to play in Tanamura's dad getting killed off. Because there's kind of a lot of similarities between the situation that Sajima was put in and the way Tanamura is explaining his situation with his dad. It, it kind of lines up a little bit too weirdly. So I'm kind of hoping we'll, we'll find out if they are connected to each other within the story. That explains why she was killing off Yakuza members. That was the part of the story we didn't get closure on. So I'm glad they actually answered that question. なるほどな。これで一つ見えてきたな。25年前の事件、カツラギと柴田は裏で繋がっていた。おそらく柴田は25年前のことを餌に今もカツラギを脅していた。だからカツラギと協力関係にあった荒井に殺された。サイジマタイガが行った上野義晴襲撃事件にはもっと裏があるはずだ。And they just named up Sajima, so yeah, I'm pretty sure he is heavily involved in this. どうしてあの荒井がカツラギと手を組んだのかだ。まさかこの前起こったあの抗争事件ってのも。ああ、最初から仕組まれたもんだった可能性が高い。あの25年前の事件と同じように。カツラギに。
何も本当に身柄を渡すわけじゃない向こうはこの人の居場所が知りたいだけだ身の安全は保証するどうだそれでいいだろう断りますどうしてだってそれじゃお兄ちゃんは助からないから私には桂木の証言が必要なの安子さんあなたは桂木に脅迫されて命の危険を冒してまで殺人をする羽目になったあの男が素直に証言するはずなんてない<笑>それなのに今でも桂木の話信用するっていうのかあんたの兄貴の無実は俺が証明するそれに俺もどうしても親父の殺された理由あの事件の真相が知りたいんだ勝手ねえあなたに何ができるっていうの全部自分のためだけじゃない安子さん私にとってお兄ちゃんは全てだったお兄ちゃんが大好きだった本当に大好きだった25年前のあの日お兄ちゃんがいなくなってから私はずっと一人だったあなただけじゃないのよ寂しい思いをしているのは全員憎いヤクザも警察も桂木も真犯人なんてどうでもいい私はもう一回お兄ちゃんに会いたいそれだけなの I was also going to say, once we get a chance to update my save file for this, I'll probably end things there because I did say earlier on that um, today's stream was going to be a lot shorter than previous Yakuza streams. But I definitely do think we'll be able to finish this by either the end of this week or the start of next week. Because, I mean, we're already on chapter two of. The third playable character, and we've only got one more playable character left to do. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure if we do another like two or three, four hour Yakuza streams, we'll be able to finish this in no time. This is Kamurochuo Parking. So, I'm because also technically we're like halfway through Tanimura's part of the story already because there's only four chapters per character. I thought it was going to be a little bit. Akiyama got name dropped also. Sky Finance. So Tanimura knows who Sajima is, and Akiyama. Sajima also knows who Kiru is, and I think Akiyama knows who Kiru is also. So yeah, pretty much everyone kind of knows each other, really. We just haven't seen all four characters on screen at the exact same time yet. Imokara, Disco. 
多分私が25年間毎日面会に通い続けたからですね結局一度も会えませんでしたけど25年間毎日もう時間がないんですだからもし死刑執行が止められなかった時はせめてお兄ちゃんの近くにいたい私は谷村さんを信じるしかありませんどうか兄のことよろしくお願いしますそれを取り戻す100 million We know where it is Uh, Yakusan said the key was for a car she left in the central parking lot. Alright, let's get out of this place. Find a place to actually save. You know what, the fastest way into Kamurucho central parking lot is. That'll probably be the fast travel system, I would imagine. She's also a detective? Mm. Brought a criminal to Japan to bring him to justice. Contact the Japanese police before I left, they're supposed to be helping. But once I got here, everyone seemed so busy.、Uh, no one would help me with my investigation. I was also told I would be given an interpreter. We're permissioned to investigate, but we don't have the authority to make arrests. In Japan, only Japanese police are allowed to make arrests. It sounds like more trouble than it's worth, but I guess the station will make me do it later, even if I refuse right now. Is this gonna be our sparring partner to like help us unlock some new abilities?
Ah, this is how they introduced the Revelation part to uh, Tanimura. That's where our revelations are going to be. Okay. Got quite a few to do over there. Uh, probably keep an eye out for that. Probably not going to be able to like get all of them done in one go. So I've got loads of side stories to do over here too. This is definitely something we can do on the next stream, definitely. Yada. Unless we have to do it like right now. Oh, and we got three health items. Uh, let me see, I need to take one of these items away then. Do we want to go back to this? Oh no, we can't go back there. Okay, let me find where the location is for this side quest then. Because they gave us the street name, I just need to find where it is. I think. Okay, yeah, that might be the place actually. I just need to find... I'm pretty sure it is the objective marker. If that's not the place, check the minimap again. Unless it's like down here instead. Ah, there we go. Found it. <laughs> like, for a second I thought this was part of the main story, but it's just another side quest we can do.
need to go to a fortune teller? I mean, I think that's the very first time we've ever had to go to a fortune teller before. I said it was near the Stardust Post Desk Club, which I think is... It should be on the map, actually. Okay, that's where Stardust is, so... Okay. I was going to say we could fast travel over there, but I don't think I need to. Also, I can probably put that in the iron box, because, I mean, its defense isn't amazing, to be honest. This is the right street I need to go to. Just let me double check. Okay, well, it's the other street instead. So, uh, yeah, keep following this direction, it'll take me to the right place. Also check the sub stories menu. Psychic near Stardust on Tanaxi Street. Okay, so I don't know if I'm looking for a building or we're looking for a character, I'm not too sure. I mean this. Oh, this psychic. We're looking for a character with a purple scarf. I need to also find which street it was on. Because uh, they did give the name of the street, I just need to find where it is on the map. I think that was the one actually. Okay, so I need to basically just backtrack them. I don't think it was this street, I think it's the one after it. Double check. Yeah, yeah, it's the one afterwards. So we've got a dispatch location to go to. So I need to find a location to where that is. Okay, 
They said it was one of the alleyways. Uh, is that the right one? Okay. Let me deal with the dispatch thing first. Said it was in an alley in this direction somewhere. Okay, actually, yeah, let me fast travel back over there. Somewhere in this location is where we need to go. I think we found the right people. I don't know if we'll get like any bonus experience points for doing this dispatch. Like discovery, I don't, I don't know, even know if you've got a side quest or not. Really. fast travel back to the other place where I was earlier on, so then we can finish up that other side quest. Actually, let me double check the description again. Yeah, we're looking for a character with a purple scarf. There's somewhere along that street. That's the person. Hey, we found the right person.
then if I go on two more hits. Okay, there we go, got it. I said, but that chase sequence wasn't too difficult to do either. So we're gonna make a return to the dock location again. That's where they said they were located. I took the sub story also to double check. Okay, yeah, yeah, so we have to go back to that place. I'm pretty sure I can take that guy. I mean, we've got enough health items, so... Shouldn't be too difficult, right? Yeah, he's not got too much health, actually.
think we finished that side quest then. Yeah, we did. 5,000 experience points. Do you think we're like we're halfway to leveling up again, I think? Uh, just under halfway. Yeah. Boost the speed of combo attacks will definitely unlock that ability. And I think the last thing I want to do for today is basically just update my save file so none of that progress gets lost. Just need to find one of the nearest places to save, really. Uh, I guess it would go down this street. I think that's the closest one. So what level is that character now? Level 9? I actually like leveled up pretty quickly like over the last two hours then. Also like our HP bar is like a lot more stable now because when we first died we really didn't have any health whatsoever. So let me check my item box, see if there's anything I can change. I guess I'm going to use like one health item, because we are missing a little bit of health. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually no, I'll wait. I'll wait till we've lost a bit more health. Alright, let me update my save file. And yeah, that's probably going to be it for today. Um, like I said, it was a bit of a shorter stream today than normal. Um, but I'll be definitely continuing Yakuza 4 later on in the week. And uh, yeah, who knows, we might actually finish the game this week, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. And uh, yeah, hope all of you have a good day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. I, I don't know if there's good... Hopefully there'll be a stream on Wednesday. I'm looking at like Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. I do want to like stream more around those days, so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But alrighty, hope all of you have a good day, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Alright, bye, bye, bye.